Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at E-Trailer, and today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE two bike platform style bike rack for electric bikes. But that's not to say that it's not gonna work with normal bikes. And today it's gonna be on a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. It's no surprise that e-bikes have definitely become more and more popular. And as the years kind of go on, I can only imagine it's going to become even bigger. So one of the downsides with e-bikes, at least currently now, is they are pretty heavy. Uh, so you do need a bike rack that's going to accompany that weight. And this one is actually pretty highly rated at 80 pounds per bike. So even some of the heavier e-bikes, you're not going to really have a problem getting your bikes uh, at least safely uh, secured while going down the road. Getting them up, you know, it, it is a little bit heavy, but that's kind of the nature of those bikes. Now, I do recommend, obviously, taking your battery off. Uh, not only save weight, but also you just don't want to have that in case it falls off on the road or something along those lines. So taking your battery off before you lift it up is definitely going to help. Now, while this is designed for e-bikes because of that weight capacity, you can see that where the wheel hoops are is pretty dang wide. So even these normal mountain bike tires are going to fit with no problem, but you could probably get away with a fat tire bike on this. Um, and some of your e-bikes, you do have some of those wider tires. And also, a normal mountain bike is going to work perfectly fine, so it's not just catered to e-bikes. Now this is a frame mounted platform style and the platform style just simply means it's not hanging like your traditional bike racks that you might see and honestly for a heavy bike you're not going to want to hang it. So a platform style is what you need. Now there's two different styles of platform that you'll notice. One of them is going to be a frame mount, the other one's going to be a wheel mount. And pretty much they're going to both be pretty safe for most bikes. But the frame mount carbon fiber is a no-go. And that's because you are putting some stress on here. And you really don't want to have any warping or cracking on your frame. Uh, your wheel mounts generally will clamp around your wheels as the name implies. And it gives it a nice firm feel. But honestly, your frame mounts are pretty solid as well. And if you don't have a carbon fiber, it's a great option. Now, one of the things that I always look for with a platform style is the tilt-away feature. I have a hatchback, so it's pretty crucial that I get to the back of my vehicle because I keep my helmet and some of my riding gear. And a lot of times I'm gonna run errands and need to get to the back of my vehicle while having the bike attached. And it's a pain to just have to take that off in a parking lot and you wanna still be able to access the rear. And that's where the tilting feature is really, really nice on here. Um, you're just simply going to pull this pin here and once we pull this out, we also have this little pull here. This has a little bump. And as we pull this out, I can actually get this to tilt down. And now I can actually gain access to the hatch. Now do be careful. You want to make sure that it's going to clear your pedals um, and also your handlebars. So when I'm at the trail and I need to grab my helmet and everything else that I need for my ride, I can just simply open up the hatch with that tilted position. I can get in here, grab whatever I need or put those groceries in if I'm running around. And then this will close back down. And before we hit the road, we can just simply lift this back up. It's going to pop back in position and lock that in. It's holding itself up. We can then just take our security pin here, uh, run this through. And that way we know for sure that it's not gonna drop while going down the road. Now when you're ready to take your bike off, it's pretty easy. You have these wheel straps here that have this nice protector um, and that's gonna allow you to not scratch your wheels as you're going down the road. Uh, it's just kind of a click style. So you, as I kind of ratchet it down, you can hear it click so you know it's tightening. Um, but you just push the button, pull this strap out. We'll get the front one as well. And that's the great part is you can get those off and the bike's still secure because we have our frame mount. And then to get your bike off, you're simply going to just kind of walk it over and you're ready to go. Now that we have the bike off, let's take some quick measurements here. So from the furthest point of the rear fascia, we're adding about a total of 31 inches or so um, to the total vehicle. Now that's something to consider once you have a second bike loaded up, it could even be more just because of the handlebars and pedals. But overall, this one's fairly compact compared to some of the others on the market. Um, and another great thing is once you don't have your bike on it, there's actually a little bit more folding to salvage a little more space. To do that, we're just simply going to pull this pin out. We can fold this down and then we're going to pull this lever here again that we used for our tilt feature. And as we go up, this is going to lock in place 
and now you can see it in its stowed position. So if you're not having your bikes on the back, this is generally how it's going to look. And we can go ahead and see how much space that saved us. Looks like we're looking at about 16 inches, so it really almost cut that in half. So that's a really nice option if you plan on leaving this on your vehicle. Now another thing too, you may notice that it's pretty wide, uh, and that's because you can actually adjust for the length of the bike. So if this is sticking out a little bit too much, you can actually move these in with just the turn of a knob to kind of make this a little bit more narrow. And you'll save a little bit of space there. So if your parking spot is, you know, pretty tight, you can get a little bit more inches there. Now something about else that e-bike maybe differentiates from normal bikes or some bikes is they are expensive and so you want to keep your bikes nice and secure and protected from someone stealing them and they've done a good job here. They give you a pin and locking little mechanism here so when you have your bike rack on they can't take the whole bike rack you can lock this in place and they give you keys that are key to like to the locking mechanism here on your frame mount. So once you have that ratcheted down, you can lock that so no one can just go ahead and take your bike. So it's really nice. You don't have to deal with any cables or anything like that. And it's all key to like, so one key should do the job. Another thing that's really cool is this has a built-in anti-rattle device. And basically it just works with the slide. So as you put your pin in, you're simply going to just tighten this down and you'll feel it start to snug up and that is gonna take the rattle out of the hitch. So you can see I'm not getting any noise or movement in the hitch, so you're not gonna get any clanging coming from that attachment point. So if you are shopping for a bike rack for your Grand Cherokee and you want something that maybe potentially could still get an e-bike, and honestly, I'm there. I'm a bike rider and eventually I want an e-bike. So if you don't wanna to have to buy another rack down the road, this is a great option because it's gonna cover pretty much any bike that you throw at it, keep them nice and secure. It does stow, it does tilt. So it's a really good option overall if you are choosing your bike rack for your Grand Cherokee Elf. So hopefully this helps. Thanks a lot for watching.